do anything wrong. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. changed. Take a seat. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Wait, Autumn has friends? Like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. 
Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy, because this is life and death we're talking about. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? Nursing quite like the excitement of a run. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the Settled System's most exciting sporting event? Why even people from the most backwoods systems like Seoul have heard of the Red Mile? <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Yes, this is not unknown to me. His association with the first is troubling, to say the least, and that trouble could find its way here. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Mark. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Thank you. 
We don't ask. In your head. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. You better stop messing with my Indeed head. you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Hey. You made it. You're back. Are you okay? Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Good thing you're so funny. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just got me at a bad time. Now let's move on. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. You must be tougher than you look. It's a pleasure to have you. Thinking of running sometime? Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you.
music is gonna put me to sleep. Better behave while you're in here. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction, in exchange. I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today.
You heard of the Elios retreat? It's supposed to be some new age. We got a lot of bars in the city. Elga says I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy.